In the past decade, I have run hundreds of campaigns. Some of them were really successful and some of them won awards. Some of them failed miserably and some of them did okay. But when I look at a great digital campaign or online campaign, I can tell. Now, it depends like which component is impressive in that campaign, whether it's the creative, whether it's the audience targeting, whether it's how they are using the audiences, whether they are connect, how they are connecting the audiences and basically anything that is impressive about that particular campaign. And at the same time, we all come across these theories that the glass breaking on the cyber truck launch in the Tesla event as well as uh, Starbucks right, misspelling the names of their customers on the coffees is all intentional just to create buzz basically have earned media a lot of earned media for these companies the Tesla event for example got so much exposure because the glass broke and the Starbucks it was like a trending thing that how Starbucks is misspelling my name everybody used to use that hashtag my name Starbucks or whatever and these companies got a lot of exposure and free media through earned views for these campaigns but I'm not sure whether this was intentional or not but in this video series we are going to discuss all the good campaigns I have come across ever and I will tell you why did they inspire me or why do I think they are impressive and in this video specifically we are going to talk about three campaigns in that particular list now the first in the list we have is OK Google campaign by Burger King now Burger King generally is a very creative company when it comes to their marketing and advertisement for example last year you might have seen their campaign the beauty of organic food some people said it was creepy but it created a lot of buzz which is kind of the objective of marketing and advertising and apart from that they have a lot of ad wars going on with mcdonald's and other com competitors but ok google campaign was at a very different level let me first show you the video and then i'll tell you what was special about it you're watching a 15 second burger king ad which is unfortunately not enough time to explain all the fresh ingredients in the whopper sandwich but i got an idea Okay, Google, what is the Whopper Burger? Now, what this video did is it created a trigger. According to Wikipedia, the Whopper is a burger consisting of a flame grilled patty made with 100% medium sized child with no preservatives or fillers, topped with sliced tomatoes, onions, lettuce, cyanide, pickles, ketchup, and mayonnaise served on a sesame seed bun. Five years ago, some people thought that they worked partnered with Google to achieve this campaign, but that is not true. What they did is they smartly worked with voice search optimization and entered all these details so whenever there was a trigger google would answer whatever they wanted to mention now what happened next was even crazier what go when google realized this is happening it got exposure google turned off their ad so this particular ad would not trigger the google um, voice assistant and trigger the ad what whatever they wanted to say in the voice assistant but what happened is google turning off their ad if it got more attention and it got a lot of exposure. Burger King as a company and this particular campaign got a lot of free earned media. Even international news channels like Al Jazeera and CNN covered this. Have a look. Okay, Google, what is the Whopper Burger? For those with a Google Home and the TV on, the advert would have created this response. According to Wikipedia, the Whopper is a hamburger. That is, until Google blocked it a few hours later. Now, before we jump into the video, I want to say a quick thank you to the sponsors of this video, who is Clicks Armor. What basically they do is they are AI-driven platform. Now, if you're running any kind of paid media campaigns, whether it's, whether it's on Google or any other platforms, so what they do is they analyze all your traffic. Once you sign up for the tool integrated, they analyze all your paid traffic and understand the fraudulent traffic. And in turn, what you can do is you can avoid spending your money on that fraudulent traffic in future and they will basically save you a lot of money and improve your results of the campaign. And the good thing about Clicks Almer, which I like, is it's easy to implement and use. There's a free trial period for which you don't need any card. You can just go ahead and simply register for it and start using. Now, I did a test of this particular tool on one of the campaigns myself, and I realized that with using this tool, you can save a lot of money compared to the money you'll have to spend to get this particular tool. So I would suggest you go ahead and register for free and start using the tool and see how much money you can save along with improving the performance of your campaign. And that leads us to our discussing our second campaign, which is the last mile campaign from Volkswagen. This entirely changed my perspective about how performance marketing and branding can work together. Now, this particular video was launched as a tribute 
to the most one of the most iconic cars, which is Volkswagen Beetle, which was in manufacturing and was sold for almost eight decades. That is a long time. So when they decided to discontinue Volkswagen Beetle, they realized that this car deserves a farewell. And this video was created with the song Let It Be from the Beatles. First, have a look at the video. This video, I mean, it's so emotional. I mean, I can only imagine if somebody owned Volkswagen Beetle, I didn't, and how they would have reacted to this video. I mean, it forms a deep connection with the audience. Even if somebody owns another Volkswagen car, they would feel that they are part of a company uh, which has a legacy. I mean, it really connects. Not just this, this particular video has a story behind it. I mean, all the people who are shown or portrayed in this particular video, it has a story uh, about all those. You can read that online. It's very interesting. Now, I can imagine like Volkswagen running this particular video on YouTube. It got a lot of organic views. It got a lot of paid views. I can imagine how they could have, I don't know whether they did it, collected kind of the audience of all the people who engaged with this video and later uh, exposed them to a campaign, a test drive campaign. This particular video and campaign taught me personally, honestly, the importance of branding and how it should go parallelly along with the performance driven tactical campaigns because they, they work together. I mean, I used to initially think that we should, most of our focus should go to performance. But in last few years, what I realized is performance is very important, but it should run parallelly with branding because branding can achieve your things which performance alone cannot. Branding can help you get the users down to the funnel when your performance marketing will kind of have incremental effects. Now this leads us to our third campaign which is the other charges by Verizon. I personally have worked with one of the biggest uh, telecom providers in the whole world and I cannot tell you how boring and difficult it is to come up with creative ideas. Most of the telecom providers, you will see that they their campaigns are around the new plans. They are about the free data, the combo deals and all those things. I have worked very closely with the content and the campaigns team. And I know how much struggle there is to come up with creative ideas. Except maybe if you have uh, seen like a decade or more, 15 years ago, the Hutch ad with the pug. That was like an iconic um, campaign from a telecom provider or such industry but then that was discontinued obviously it became Vodafone later and Vodafone even came up with that campaign again the campaign was called the Pug Returns but it didn't get as much exposure as the original one now look at this particular ad by Verizon now the special thing about this ad is in the beginning because in the current era, if when we run YouTube and other ads, it's very important to get, get the attention of the users in the first few seconds. The critics agree. See Able has done it again. The master of mystery goes into the world of cable internet in their new novel, The Other Charges, a page turner that follows a young couple as they struggle to uncover the secrets of their cable internet bill. You want uncertainty, drama, and mystery. This book is for you. 
Or if you prefer peace of mind, switch to Verizon Home Internet. It starts at $25 a month. No annual contracts, hidden fees, or data caps. Ditch cable today. Go to verizon.com slash home. Good thing about this ad is it gets your attention in the first few seconds and then in a creative way delivers the boring message that we do not have hidden charges. Basically uh, gets the attention in the beginning, keeps you hooked and delivers its message, which is the objective of all advertising. And that is the end of this particular video. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video where we discuss even more campaigns. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next one.